I'm going to give you a, a quick six-minute demo of BIM 360 Team. For those of you who are not familiar with BIM 360 Team, it's a cloud-based collaboration platform for design teams and architecture and engineering. This includes architects, engineers, their consultants, and all project stakeholders. It provides a centralized project hub to collaborate on your design files with your entire team. You can access pretty much any file ranging from something as simple as a PDF to a large complex BIM file. What we see after logging in is the BIM 360 team dashboard. You can see projects that you own, projects that have been shared with you, and archive projects that you can either put in cold storage or completely delete if you like. On the right hand side, you'll see the activity feed. This is a 40,000 foot view of what's going on in all your projects and projects that have been shared with you. This feature is great for principals and project managers to be able to see who has been invited to a project, who's been uploading new files, and adding comments or markups. Let's go ahead and hop into a project. This is what the project looks like. The first thing you'll notice are all the different file types. BIM 360 Team supports more than 100 different file types, more than 60 of which are 2D and 3D design files. This includes files created with both Autodesk and non-Autodesk software. Let's say you want to share a file instead of inviting someone to an entire project. Click on the share icon and copy the link. When you share this link, you're giving someone access to an immersive view of the file. They won't need any design software. The only thing they'll need is an internet browser or a mobile device. Within the sharing settings, you can enable or disable downloading. You can email the file directly from within BIM 360 Team or even embed it on a web page or email. All share links can also be password protected for extra security. As we saw in the BIM 360 Team Projects dashboard, the activity feed is a high-level view. This view is also available for individual projects. You can follow a project, which means you will get a notification anytime someone uploads, downloads, or comments on a file. Project members can be found by clicking on the details at the top of the activity feed. In this view, you can invite and manage project members. To invite a new member, just type in an email address and press send. You can manage members right here. If you're the project administrator, you can determine who has access to the project and how much access they have. You can determine project member access by project roles, editor and project administrator. There's also a basic calendar. Every time you create an event in the calendar, all project members will receive a notification. In addition to the calendar, the discussion sections help everyone stay on the same page. You can leave notes to people who are in the field, in the office, etc. Let's hop into a design file here. You can see we've got smallmedicalfacility.rvt within this project. We're going to have a full 3D view of what the file looks like. And here are a few capabilities of the immersive viewer. Firstly, sectional analysis. You can create a z-plane and move it up and down if you want to, to get a better shot of the first or the second floor. You can even change the plane as well. So if you want to change to an X or a Y, you can go ahead and rotate it that way. You can always move this forwards and backwards to get the best slice. The viewer is so immersive, you can actually walk through your design file. If you want to take a look at a particular component, go ahead and, and hit the isolate button. And now you've just got one door out of the entire design file. You can also hop into the model and look at all the same individual components, such as walls or doors. The file metadata that is within your CAD or BIM model is also uploaded to BIM 360 Team. All the construction information, object materials, and dimensions. BIM 360 Team lets you mark up and comment on files. You can come in here and draw freehand on the model as well. You can create text or pre-created shapes. You can comment directly on an object. Let's say you want to go ahead and view a comment. You'll click on the comment, and it takes you to the direct perspective where the comment was made. BIM 360 Team also reads Revit Sheets, and you can view and interact with 2D files as well. There's also a measurement tool, so you can go ahead and measure distances, like the length of this wall. All these features are available on the mobile app as well, that's both iOS and Android. You can go into the Layer Manager and view any particular layer that might be available. There's also built-in version control, which enables you to automatically work off the most recent version. If there are three versions of the same model, everyone is going to automatically be working off the most recently uploaded model. None of the older versions will ever be deleted, 
and all the comments will be cached. Lastly, we have Live Review. Live Review is basically a browser-based screen sharing feature, so you can hold a virtual design review session in real time with other team members. You can hop into this anytime without any design software. All you have to do is copy the link and share it. You can share this link with anyone who you would like to join the Live Review session. You can move the model, and other Live Review participants will have a full demonstration of what's going on. Other members in the Live Review session can also take control of the model and move it to focus on what they'd like to discuss. Within the Live Review session, you have the same functionality as we saw previously in the Immersive View. Exploding the model, section analysis, first-person walkthrough, and more.